So Kaylee McEnany gets dragged for calling Biden's electoral speech divisive. The hypocrisy of it all. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please, please click subscribe and click the bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload. So Biden basically did a speech because he is now considered the presidential elect. He is certified by all 50 states and White House press secretary was not having it. Kaylee McEnany has come under fire for claiming Joe Biden's post-electoral college vote speech was divisive. She criticized the president-elect Joe Biden for describing Donald Trump's attempts to overturn the election results as an, quote, unprecedented assault on democracy. So Biden's comments basically came during a Delaware speech Monday night after the electoral count officially confirmed his 2020 election victory. So Kaylee McEnany decided that she wanted to respond, listing a number of the president's political grievances, including his most recent false claim that the election was quote unquote rigged. So she says three year fake Russia investigation, baseless impeachment, rigging election with mass mail and voting with no safeguards before claiming those acts were more of an assault on democracy. Ooh, this girl, she needs, she needs, she needs, um, her husband ain't giving her no dick. She needs some dick. I don't know what's going on. So basically people just went off on her. One, one, Walter Schaub is a former director of the office for governmental ethics. And he reminded Kaylee that her time in the white house is drawing to an end. He told her that Kaylee, the office of governmental ethics has advised that you can file a termination, a termination financial disclosure report early. If you update it on your last day to disclose any new interests. You can also ask the ethics office about post-employment restrictions now that you're leaving. <laughs> Josh Marshall, the founder of Talking Points Memo, said, Get used to it, Kaylee. Your abuse of our great country has gone on long enough. Keith Bolkin, a bestseller author and CNN commentator, said, Kaylee, I'm not surprised by this or even disappointed in you. I'm embarrassed for you. So Kaylee Maganini or one of my commenters call her Dora the Explorer because she kind of do like look like Dora the Explorer. She got them cute little adorable eyes. But unfortunately, her personality and her selling her soul to the White House basically makes her an ugly woman. And the fact that you are going to preach to the masses before Donald Trump was elected in 2016, that Trump is not a real conservative. He's not a real politician. He's not a real Republican. And the fact that I made this video and I covered it and a lot of you guys were, well, that was a few years ago. That was several years ago. It don't give a damn. I don't give a damn how, how long it was. This is what the woman said. This is what was on record. And it's proven that she is selling her beliefs for money, selling her beliefs for clout, selling her beliefs for benefits to reap her own while us people at home are basically... Uh, sacrificing our lives literally over this COVID situation and feeling like we are in a like an award by having to follow all these damn rules over over COVID over a situation that could have been prevented over a situation that could that could have been not as detrimental as it is now okay so she sold her soul I don't care how long it was and she she told us how she really viewed Trump but then when he got elected Everything changed because she needed a job. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell so you will be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yay!